and welcome back to the hot lap today we're specifically talking about the future of mercedes and red bull in particular the drivers as you can see max verstappen kimmy antonelli okay toto wolf's not a driver as you can see but he he's in charge of mercedes and we have just had kimmy antonelli's first f1 test as as you heard me said the other day his formula 2 uh, well his formula 2 season so far has been solid if not setting the world alight. So news on his test, I think, could be quite interesting. So as you know, the, the Italian Kimi Antonelli, he enjoys the incredible experience of driving an F1 car for the first time with Mercedes. Um, so he's just, think about this, just 17 years old. One year out, for example, in the UK, of finishing of doing your GCSEs. And he's currently in his maiden season of Formula 2, skipping Formula 3. And he's just driven the Constructors' Championship car, the 2021 Mercedes F1 car at, there's a bit of irony for you, the Red Bull Ring, as the first part of what is going to be a wider programme to him, with him to acclimatise to the F1 machinery. Reported on many people, but here's from Sky Sports F1. So, in a video that was posted on social media just two days in to Austria, in which he completed 500 kilometres, Antonelli said, it has been an incredible experience. He said, I loved every second of it. First day didn't go as planned. We got some now. Unfortunately, we, you know, we got snow, not some now. We got snow, unfortunately, so we couldn't really drive. But the second dry, the second day was dry, and they got quite a lot of laps in, and it was really good fun. He said he wants to thank all the team for their hard work and excited for what's coming. If we share the screen, what I'm sharing here, hopefully you'll be able to see a picture. There he is. There you go. F1 test for Kimi Antonelli. Uh, looking happy there in his in his Mercedes gear. So the Italian Antonelli is a rising star of motorsport and has been on Mercedes books since 2019. That's when he was 12 years old. I mean, they're picking them up really, really early. It's just, it's just like football now. But will Kimi drive for Mercedes? That is, I think, the $10 million question as to whether this man is going to be driving for Mercedes at all. Well, let's, uh, let's find out, shall we? So it says here that Toto Wolff is pissed yes p-i-double-s-e-d is i mean that's a bit of a it's not really a swear word but it's slightly rude in england um he's when he was pissed when he decided on lewis hamilton replacement um and this one the reason why he's pissed is because he lost out on max verstappen in 2014 as we as we said he did not have anywhere else to put this Max Verstappen. But Red Bull, they've got another team at the time. It was Toro Rosso. That's where Max went. So, and this is from an F1 pundit. So Toto Wolff has reportedly already already decided that Kimi Antonelli is going to place, replace Lewis Hamilton at Mercedes in 2025. So the boss can escape this Max Verstappen-shaped ghost of the past, as the report on planetf1.com. So this is the claim, though, of F1 TV presenter, Drive to Survive, Will Buxton, who is certain that Wolf now intends to put Antonelli in that Mercedes seat that's going to be vacated by Hamilton, who is on his way to Ferrari. So as we know, the Mercedes junior Antonelli, he's seen um, as one of the most exciting young talent since a certain Max Verstappen. His junior career of collecting titles at every turn lead, led to him skipping Formula 3 and they put him straight in to Formula 2 this year, where he's bidding to prove himself worthy of continuing what is this rapid descent uh, ascent, sorry not descent uh, this rapid ascent by joining the F1 2025 grid. Now Will Boxen said that Wolf's mind he believes, is already made up, as he cannot miss another chance to field a star prospect like he did with Verstappen after Red Bull won the tug of war to get his signature and placed him on the grid at just 17 years old, the same age Kimi is now, but he went to the junior Toro Rosso team. Kimi Antonelli, I think, August, but he's, he's 18 in, in August, and Formula 1 now says you've got to be 18 to go into Formula 1, which I think, yeah, absolutely correct. So Verstappen has since gone on to become a three-time world champion in the dominant force of Formula 1. So Antonelli is going to Mercedes, he said, Will Buxton. I think Toto has made his mind up. He wants Antonelli in the seat, he said on the Red Flags podcast. Now, because he's pissed, he said, he is pissed that he missed the opportunity to give Max to get Max back in 2014. So that's why he's going to put Antonelli in the seat. But such a move, it could 
I mean, this move from Kitty, that's great. Bold, if I remember Hamilton going into the McLaren. World class. They trusted him in a top winning team. Yes, though, Hamilton had more testing. And uh, I think at this point, albeit there's only been a couple of races in his GP2 career, which was F2, he was slightly more successful, I think, than Kimi Antonelli. Not, not to take anything away, because I think Prima, Kimi's team, is having issues at the moment. But this would represent a risk, because Kimi has a, this lack of experience, and he's not turning 18 until the summer. But Buxton believes that the emergence of Oli Behrman at Ferrari in Saudi Arabia gave confidence i think to other teams to look to young people especially the way um oliver performed so carlos Sainz, as we know was forced to miss the saudi arabia grand prix when oliver stepped in and he was able to swim let's say when thrown in at the deep end according to buxton so that means wolf could also believe in antonelli too and buxton basically said that litmus test the litmus test was a bearman who did a great job um okay great so we can stick a kid straight in formula two he's assuming that's what Total Wolf is going to be thinking. 2025, he suggested, is a write-off for Mercedes anyway. It may well be until these new regulations come in in 2026. He said, so you can bring him in, no pressure, get him to know the team, get him to work with George, understand what Mercedes are all about. Bam, the new car regulations in 2026 go for the title. And as we know, Russell is also, Russell of the George, is also a graduate of this Mercedes Junior programme, with the Britain having spent three seasons at the Mercedes Cusper team in Williams before ultimately taking Bottas's job um, on that promotion for 2022. However, Buxton does not see any benefit for Antonelli spending that time in Williams. He said, if you put him in Williams in 25 and you bring him with, into Mercedes with the expectation of 26, he's going to relearn everything, everyone, how it operates when you've spent a year with Williams, he said, which I think kind of makes sense. And he said, no, you bring him in straight away and get him to learn at the top table. I think if Mercedes are not thinking about the 25 title, that makes perfect sense. It's a no pressure year all things being considered, because it is still one of the top teams, but it is a no-pressure year where then he can learn everything. But I think a lot of it still depends on how good he is in F2. Is he good enough at the moment? I don't know. Will he be good enough? Let's hope so. So on to our last story, and it's Max. Yes, Max Verstappen. All these rumours about where is Max going? Is he going to go to Mercedes? Is he going to stay at Red Bull? We've always said He's probably going to stay at Red Bull. But there's been a report from PlanetF1.com and other people, this is Oliver Harden reporting it, that Max Verstappen has been backed into a corner as the Christian Horner plots cunning Red Bull power grab. Yes, absolutely. A very nice clicky headline. But Max Verstappen, though, he, ha he has reportedly been stuck in a corner amid these rumours of a... Of going to Mercedes for next year, with any commitment to Red Bull likely to signal the green light for a cunning Christian Horner power grab. Now, despite, as we know, Max Verstappen holds a contract with the Red Bull team until 2028, but his future, as we know, has been plunged into doubt with this tug of war over over Red Bull. In one side, you've got Austria. In one side, you've got, um, you know, Austria, you've got, you've got Christian Horner's lot, and then you've got Marco, the, the Verstappen's. It's interesting. And... Verstappen, he's been heavily linked with a move to Mercedes as a replacement for Lewis Hamilton, who announced early this year, as we know, he's off to the red team. But a report, um, a report in Auto Automotive and Sport on Tuesday shed light on the current state of the two worlds at Red Bull, where one team's on-track performance is masking this tug of war over the, re the over the reorganization of the company behind behind the scenes. Um, now, while the long-serving serving 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 principal Christian Horner he sees himself as this new general, and with the support of the Red Bull's time majority owners behind him, he's keen to marginalize elements within the company and after his father Jos sensationally called for Horner to resign from his position after the season opening Bahrain Grand Prix he accused basically Christian Horner of playing the victim when he's the one causing the problems according to Verstappen um, PlanetF1.com reported last month that Verstappen's contract is contained a cause that is the Marco cause if Marco leaves he can leave and a new report by the respected F1 reporter Michael Schmidt from AMUS has revealed just how delicately Verstappen's future hangs in the balance and he's described the three-time world champion as being backed into a corner now it's claimed that Verstappen could make a quick decision to join Mercedes but the team's and this is the issue for Verstappen the team is not competitive yes he I mean 
so I think a lot of it may well come down to the fact that he's going to know how good that Red Bull powertrain is looking for 2026. The rumours are that Mercedes have a very strong powertrain for 2026. Mercedes are, uh, have produced in the new world one of the, the best engines. Um, and although the engines have been fairly stable, I think, from 2014 onwards, it is, once again, a new formula. And everyone seems to think it could potentially be an engine formula for 2026. That is the thing that could entice Max. However, Mercedes at the moment are, let's be fair, an absolute shadow of their former selves. A shambles, if you will, because they still do not understand the car. And if these, and we have now, for next year, reported active aero. And who is the aero specialist? Well, at the moment, Adrian Newey, who may well be going to Ferrari, or probably, let's be fair, I think likely at the moment, you know, 60-40, uh, staying at the Red Bull team. And it's claimed that Verstappen could make this, obviously, this quick decision to Mercedes in 2025. But the team's lack of competitiveness means directly replacing Hamilton is not exactly the most attractive option. Instead, Verstappen could elect to remain at Red Bull and let Sainz partner George Russell for 2025, making the move to Mercedes when these new regulations are implemented in 2026. You're playing a risk there, but you could. That, however, to have dangerous and it wouldn't immediately kill off the Austrian from the Red Bull. Suspending Marco and Hamilton has been leading to Moss Milfive, which will be a lot of the year by the time uh, the name is if it's a man's job. Now, Sam and Gravel, the Hamilton, 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 so he said that's exactly how he thinks Max, you know, Max Verstappen is going to think. That makes perfect sense. Anyway, I digress. That's pretty much all the stories there. If you made it to the end, please give us a like, give us a subscribe. That would be fantastic. And we will no doubt speak to you soon. Probably, I don't know, maybe, maybe I just don't have a video in the background and I'm about to...